You are listening to CBC Radio 1, 99.1 in Toronto. News, current affairs, and more. Everything we can fit in blah 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 We have taken over your radio station. Yes, yes. You are listening to the Frequency Jam, broadcasting to you live from hidden tunnels beneath Union Station in Toronto. With your host, Maja One. And the man named Who. We have a list of demands that must be met. Forget all preconceived notions about the hip-hop culture in general and about graffiti art in specific. We demand that you open your mind. We demand that you forget everything that you've heard thus far on commercial radio or in the mainstream media. We want everybody to be on the same page. So we've prepared a glossary of terms that those in the graffiti culture use to speak amongst themselves. Frequency Jam Hip Hop Glossary Peace A mural or wall painting or a graph masterpiece Bombing To go out writing Going out at night and crushing the city with Krylov spray paint or fat tips All terms are subject to change at any time by hip hop heads worldwide We've got Ian McTair and Medley talking about the graffiti transformation project. The city of Toronto got involved. They were seeing a lot of graffiti tags, what vandalism, etc. The idea was that they get artists to basically go into the communities and paint murals to beautify the community. And, and now, now, a word from, from the street. street. I like artistic graffiti, but I don't like graffiti for the sense of just like saying, writing profanities or people's names. If they have a really cool name and it's done in like three dimensional, so it carries quite a bit of space. It's an argument that's been going on for a long time: the legal versus illegal issue of graph. And and what's art? Um, who defines what's art? Who enforces the definition of art? A perspective from Sergeant Cook of the Metro Police. Going back to 1996-97, we started to see a substantial growth in graffiti vandalism throughout the city of Toronto and what the police service wanted to do was work with the communities to find out why is graffiti in a stage of proliferation. Is it a criminal thing? Is it a gang thing? Um, well, it is a criminal thing because I mean it's a crime. Um, you're still going to get gang graffiti and by attacking the graffiti artists or any of the vandalized walls um, it's not going to stop the gang graffiti. There's a difference between um, gangs and crews and a crew is just like a group of people who write together, they're out there doing art, and a crew of people collaborating their ideas together. Like the group of seven. And throwing the gang word in with graffiti. When you look at it, like, from our perspective, because we see graffiti, if you see whether it be pieces. Peace. A mural or wall painting, or a graph masterpiece. Or any type of graffiti, you see whether it be pieces, or, you know, productions, or whatever, is, is not gang. And that's just a fact. We realize that graffiti and that type of subcultural activity is part of the human condition. We realize from that and a lot of academic research and, and empirical study that we cannot eradicate graffiti at a 100% issue. Probably on to us by now, so uh, I'm going to start gathering up our stuff. Okay, Let's grab get out of here. stuff. I'll let everybody know. You know, keep finding out more about graffiti in your community. You can also check out www.acdcb/frequency. Oh no, they frequency got jam. Come on, man. Let's go. I gotta go. Peace.